Number two, I need you to know. I need you to know all these things. But seriously, number two, this is all on you. So that goal that you just wrote down or the things that you say you want to achieve, the success that you want to have, whether that's in football or in life, I need you to know this is all on you. Nobody else. This is your life. Realistically, nobody cares. Nobody cares about you. Obviously, your family, yeah, they care about you. They love you. They want you to do well. But if you fail at something, guess what? Their life goes on. Okay, this is your life. So I need you to take full responsibility for it. And if we're talking specifically about football, the first thing that I wrote down here is you need to love what you're doing. You really have to enjoy this game, especially if you want to achieve big things and you want to keep playing every single day and you want to go far in this game. You have to love what you're doing. And if you don't love football, that's totally okay. Do something else. You can stop this video right now if you just admitted that to yourself. I don't really like this this much. I'm doing this for someone else. If you don't love it, if you don't enjoy it, life is too short to spend time doing things you don't love doing. So if it's not for you, that's totally okay. Find something you're passionate about. When you love what you do, it's so much easier to work hard. It's so much easier to be consistent and to be disciplined because you enjoy doing it. You enjoy the process. You enjoy the hard work. If you're dreading going to training, if you hate practicing by yourself, if you just like the game doesn't bring you joy anymore, admit that to yourself. And hey, maybe you take a break. One of the best things I ever did was like, I took, I quit the team. And that's a story I'll, I'll tell in another video. I quit a team, I didn't play, but that's not true. I still trained by myself. I just didn't play organized football for like a year and I came back with so much more motivation and energy. So sometimes you just need a little break or a, new, a change of environment. But sometimes you just don't really enjoy it. And that's okay. Go and find something you're passionate about, pursue that in life. And then it's so much easier to work hard on those things and be consistent with those things. But take responsibility, take personal responsibility for your development and success. And what I mean by that is it's not up to your coach. It's not up to your trainer. It's not up to your mom and dad. It's not up to your club or the, the environment that you're in. This is on you. If you're not developing, that's, that's your issue. Okay. So take responsibility for it. Don't blame other people. Say, Oh, I'm not good enough because my coach doesn't give me the time that I deserve. He doesn't give me the respect. He doesn't give me opportunity or my teammates never pass me the ball. So I never have the opportunity to play. You sound like a loser. Stop talking like that. Take full responsibility. This is on you. If you're not good at something, you have to do something to improve it. It's all on you. That's number two. This is all on you. Take responsibility for your development. Take responsibility for your success. Okay. The current situation you're in right now is the result of all the choices that you've made, all the things that you've done in the past. So if you're not happy with where you are, that's okay. Use that as motivation, but you have to do something to change it. No one else is going to come around and change it for you. So stop blaming other people. Stop looking at other people. You got to believe in yourself. No one else is going to believe in you until you believe in yourself. And I need you, when you can understand this concept, like, hey, I'm not good enough right now, but I can get there one day. So it's okay to be unsatisfied with where you are, but you need to believe in your ability to improve. You can improve every single part of your game. You can improve your weak foot. You can improve your physicality. You can improve your speed. You can improve your decision-making, your smarts. You can improve your confidence. You can improve everything. And I'll help you do that. But you need to know that it's possible and you have to believe in your own ability to do so. If you've improved anything in your past, whatever it is, maybe you used to suck at video games, now you're good at them. That's just proof that you can improve if you put in the time and the effort. So if you wanna improve everything, you need, to, you need to know that you can and believe in your ability to do so. Nobody's gonna support you. No one is going to do anything for you until you start doing something for yourself. So we're all like, oh, nobody supports me in my goals. Nobody, you... <laughs> Nobody's pushing me forward. Nobody's on my team. Nobody's got my back. That's just the way you want it. Use that as motivation. It's you against the world and that's just the way you like it. It's you one-on-one -on -one against everyone else, against all the obstacles, against all the odds. That gives you fire. That gives you motivation. If you take control of that and say, everyone's against me, nobody supports me, I'm all by myself and that's just the way I like it, how much power is in that? If you say, oh, poor me. Only if, only if my parents supported me, only if my friends had my back, only if my coach gave me the time. Like, stop talking like that. You're giving away all your power. Keep the power for yourself, okay? Believe in yourself. Become brutally honest. Become brutally self-aware and honest with yourself. So what I mean by that is, if you're not good at something, you have to admit that to yourself. So many players get so defensive. If I went in and criticize you, especially if I was your teammate, if I'm your coach, it's a little different. Maybe you respect my authority. 
But if I'm your teammate and I come to you and I say, dude, you suck at defending. Like so many people, what What do you mean? No, I don't suck. Like, come on, you want? I'll defend you right now. Be self-aware. Know what your weaknesses are and admit them. If you never admit your weaknesses, you never admit that you're bad at something, you're honest, you're not honest with your flaws, how are you supposed to improve them? You can improve them if you admit them. If you if you deny them, you can never improve them. So it's okay to be bad at things. If you admit that you're bad at them, you can quickly improve them. If you just always deny it or you always stay away from those things because you're just bad at them and you only focus on the things that you're good at, then you're never going to improve. So I need you to be brutally honest. Be brutally honest with your weaknesses, with your strengths. Be honest with your performances in games. Be honest with your performances in training and stop blaming other people. Stop saying, oh, it was the ref's fault. It was my teammate's fault. Like, what can you do? Well, it's all your fault. Take more responsibility. If I lose a game, if my team loses a game and my teammates had a shocker and the referee made a bad call and my coach is an idiot, I don't look at them. I say, okay, I only scored one goal. Maybe if I scored three, then we would have won the game. Take personal responsibility. And I'm not saying be bad, be hard on yourself. Yes, be hard on yourself, but be real with yourself and love yourself at the same time. It's a balance, but take responsibility. Don't push, don't give your power away to other people by blaming them. So <clears throat> I just want to talk to you guys because I've always been a top level player. Okay, I've always played at the top level for my age group, whatever that was. But I never really started getting like really good at soccer, really good at football until I was like 21. I was always good, but I could have been way better. And it's because I wasn't self-aware and I wasn't honest and I wasn't always like analyzing my game. I wasn't on a piece of paper like, okay, I'm good at this, I'm bad at this. How do I improve this? And when I became 21, I that's when I started making football my business. I started making a YouTube channel. I started getting all these questions like, hey, how do you improve this? How do you improve that? How do you improve that? So I had to do that and I had to experiment on myself. So what I need you to do right now is become fully self-aware. And what I want you to do is I want you to make a list and I want you to list all the things that you think you're good at and all the things that you think you're bad at that need improvement. And the things that you're bad at, I want you to actually write down like at least one action under it and say, okay, I'm bad at defending or I'm bad at shooting. How can I improve it? What's one actionable step? I can go to a wall and I can take a hundred shots a day with my left foot and my right foot. And I can do that for a week. And I promise if you do that, you'll improve. Okay, but it's about identifying the weaknesses. Don't hide from your weaknesses, run towards them. And yes, you have to keep improving your strengths. You're never good enough, remember. Okay, but the, when I started getting really good is when I actually became honest with myself. And I said, you're not good at this. You're slow, you're unathletic. You're bad at shooting, you, um, you're shy, you don't talk enough, you're arrogant, you're cocky, okay? Be real with yourself, be real with yourself. You'll, you'll be happy that you did this in the beginning, but I need you to do that. So pause right now if you wanna make that list. Let's move forward. I'm talking too much, but it's, the information is just so good, isn't it?